Today we're taking a quick look at the Porter Cable Mini Impact Nailer. This is an add-on tool for a pneumatic system to allow you to be able to directly drive uh, any variety of nails directly uh, into uh, whatever it is you're working on. This is rated for one pound or with a maximum working pressure of 100 PSI. Uh, this is on, available for just under $40 at uh, Orange Box Stores. And so let's cut this open here. It comes in a blister package. And so we'll just cut this blister package open and then be able to get to our tool. So the blister package open. As we reach inside plastic, let's make a couple more cuts. And now with the nailer out, you can see on the back side here, this has a nice little on-tool warning of it. This is designed for 100 PSI or 7 bars maximum pressure. Uh, and then it comes with a nice uh, swivel connection here for your pneumatic hose to be able to drive in your nails. And then this slides down. You can see the uh, piece there that will actually drive uh, your nail. It will oscillate back and forth to be able to drive your nail hopefully flush. And then this hooks up obviously to your compressor on your hose. So we'll, I'll hook this up to my compressor here and we'll give this a quick test to see how useful this is. Okay, so for our test here, we've got three different sizes of nails we're going to use with our nailer. One quick observation that'd be nice is if this had a nice little dust cover here so when it's stored, uh, the dust valve here stays clean. Uh, as we use any pneumatic tool with pressure, make sure you always wear your safety glasses. So we'll put those on and then I've got a test uh, set up here. My compressor is currently set at 90, uh, about 98 PSI. So it's 100 on there. I'll just try to stay safely under there. This should give you a nice demonstration here of the maximum uh, forces that you can accomplish with uh, this. So I've got, if I turn this around here, let me see the setup here. Take the air hose off here. So I've got a scrap piece of 2 by 4 You see the random paint on there. And another just a little scrap piece here. It's just like a 1 by 3 I'm just going to try to be able to attach here together with that. So then with the quick coupler here, I'll go ahead and set that on. And so now this is attached, and then now we're going to try to drive our nail. So we'll start here with our smallest nail, just a little quick, about a one-inch brad nail. We'll set that on. This The first thing I notice is this is magnetic there on the top there. And then so if I set this in, and that drove that down. You can see an indentation in the board here from the hammer driving it. Let's go for a larger nail. Let's set that on there. It's magnetic, so we'll just get that set in there. First, another observation. It seems like this won't seem to set very centered here. Once it'll sit on one side or the other of the magnet inside there. So if I set that in there. So if I'm not doing very precise work, maybe this would work. And I quickly... Seems to have uh, run that one. So we can get another nail here. Start with a slightly larger nail. And we will start to drive this nail here. And there we go. It didn't quite sink at first, but we got it down. No problem here. Let's go back and try another small brad nail. You can see this is putting just a little bit of extra indentation into it from the internal piston. Let me set that down there. And we'll try to drive another bread. So I can tell there was something that went wrong there, so I quickly disconnected the tool before anything that could happen. And as I look at what happened here, it looks like the nail got jammed between the little internal hammer and the outside setting here. And so if I try to use that, use my needle nose pliers and it popped right off. And now this looks like this is back. Let me see if I can set this down on here. Again, this seems like it's clinging to the outside edge of this here. And so with that hammer having some space between the outside edge of the collar which is really the trigger mechanism and the driving uh, hammer piston. 
there's an opportunity for smaller headed nails to get stuck or jammed uh, off to the side and that was a giveaway whenever it had the large release of air. As we saw here we got where the extra indentations on the side so it appears like if you're doing any fine finish work this is probably not what you want to use. Uh, stick with just a regular uh, hammer to drive in any nails that weren't set from your nail gun. So let me grab another one of those nails here and see if we can drive that in. There's going to be our next nail here, so we'll hook the tool back up to the compressor. Now that our compressor is reset here after that uh, air leak there, we got our larger nail. We'll put this right on here and start to get this one to drive. This is the same type as the one that bent over there. So let's see if I can get this squared up here. It seems like it's... go and that drove right down. In fact it sunk well below the surface and just for a matter of perspective for the size of compressor that I'm using this is a little bit hard to tell in the light but I'm simply using I've got a four gallon uh, pancake style compressor. It works well with almost all of my nail guns and uh, staple guns. I even use it with a framing nailer uh, so I thought this might be a good just an average test to use uh, for an economy compressor and it seems to work well. Obviously, when I had the nail that got stuck, it had to reset uh, in the compression. And so, as you just saw, the Porter Cable Nailer seems to have performed very well, even just on a six gallon pancake compressor, and was able to drive several nails in. But this appears like it's a tool better use, uh, better left for rough finishing, for rough framing work, and not for fine finishing detail in case your pressure gets a little low and you've got a smaller nail that doesn't quite set all the way down. It looks like you're, uh, this is not the tool for that, and you'll want to get a, uh, uh, a punch and go ahead and just set that in, or just another nail set, and use a hammer to pop those right in. Uh, so I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks, and have a great day.